He's completely my type. Look. Wait till Michael comes out. She's going to pounce on No, me. I ain't. I feel like already they could win this if they form a romantic relationship. Hi, I'm Rosie Williams, and I'm here with Cosmopolitan UK, and we are looking at the best bits from this week's Love Island. Let's watch it. Let's go. Can you believe that it was a year ago, though? It's mad, isn't it? Can you remember this? I think I came in two days later. Oh, yeah, you walked in with um, Rosie, innit? I think we actually had it worse, myself and Georgia, though, because everyone already knew each other, and they'd already been in their couples and made friends, whereas Georgia and I came in and sort of disrupted the whole dynamic of the villa. No, I can remember walking in, it was the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever I remember walking life. in, I was so excited. What was I wearing? Have you got your crystal ball? What do you want? Do you want to, should I get mine? What did you wear to walk in? in? Some very, very bright pink shorts with lips. Who stood over. forward for you? Um, Laura. Is that it? Yeah. All right, sorry. Jesus Christ. I'm not a Greek Adonis. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine, though? Imagine walking down to that. He's completely my type. Look. Right. He's no, completely right. yeah, my I type. Remember him. He's got tats, he's got his, his piercing, he looks naughty. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Wait till Michael comes out, she's gonna pounce on no, him. No, I ain't. I don't pounce, I wait. If they want it, they come, don't they? I don't pounce on mm. anyone. Don't give me that, because mm. I don't. No, you don't. I feel like, as well, everyone's going for Lucy, because I think they were trying to make out that she was everyone's type and the best in the villa when they're all gorgeous. But because you know what, what boys can be like, once one person really wants somebody, and then they all sort of follow each other, don't they? Oh yeah, she's the best, so I want her. He's got the classic Love Island white jeans, he's ready to graft. <laughs> he's all over it, isn't he? He shaves his legs, that put me off. Wax The them. socks and shaving your legs. <laughs> Who's sunbathed with their socks on though? That is ridiculous. If I've you came out of sunbathing with. with your socks on, I'd be like, Wes, what are you doing? And if you Maybe like, he's got bad feet. Maybe he's got smelly feet. I remember... You, I, wear you white always jeans used to wear your shirts and button, didn't you? And I was like, what is he doing? Do you remember? You still fancied us, though, George. No, we did not. Well, when you first walked in, who was the first two people that you said you fancied? Yeah, out of looks. Then I got to know was you, Was I wearing an open button shirt? <laughs> 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 this really upset me, watching Callum and Amber. I just, I know Callum and I know his friends and I've actually spoken to his friends and they're finding it really hard to watch. <gasps> Did you watch this bit? Yeah. I've watched this already, it was awful. That was quite nasty. <laughs> no, but I think this whole Amber thing is a complete front, whereas I do. Cos you remember when I was in there, like, I'm a re I, do you remember? Like, I used to be like, Ooh, what are you wearing? Ooh, look at that hat, because I wanted to act all tough. Yeah, I do, I, I, honestly, I do know what you're saying, but... I think she's just a bit nervous, and she's put it on this front, because she don't want to get hurt. Yeah, but you've got to be open in the villa. <laughs> you... Emotionally open, ready to be crushed, yet enlightened. Yeah, I definitely feel like when I went in, that I was... was powerful, that was. Yeah. Go on. Go, no, it's fine, go. don't worry. All right, sound. Yes, it worked. Talking, oh, look, they're talking about their scars and like what they've been through. They are cute, they are. I do, I they're really like them. They're actually well nice and they'll stay with each other. I guarantee these will stay with each other the whole time. See, Which imagine being true. that comfortable with someone talking about poo on the first day. I'm so glad Curtis picked Amy though. I feel, I feel like already they could win this if they form a romantic relationship. I hope that it doesn't turn into a friendship and is romantic, something romantic there. I remember the night of the recoupling the tension in the house, it was awful. We wouldn't speak to each other, we'd all feel sick. You're a bombshell and you're disrupting the dynamic and they've already formed relationships, so you know you're going to upset somebody. I was looking forward to Tommy's one here. As soon as you said, as soon as I walked into the villa and she made me feel welcome. Yeah, I, I knew, knew it was Lucy. Because Amber don't make me feel, make I... feel welcome. Why is everyone being horrible to Amber? I've had enough. <laughs> it's, I think that's a combination of him fancying her him um, being under a lot of pressure and not wanting to go. That's the emotion. I don't think it's just, mm. you don't think he's, everyone's saying, oh, why is he so heartbroken? I think it's just, it's a combination of all them three things. You can't, you can't do that. And I feel like maybe their mentality was, if we stick together, we're going to win. So maybe it wasn't actually genuine. It's Love Island, not a couple's retreat. Exactly. Mingle. 
No, I don't I know. Think that was just stop that. Then. Just stop. <laughs> just stop, Res. I do think I do think her and Joe too, because they're both like got wavy hair and surfy. They've got wavy hair. Match made in heaven. <laughs> Why can't you just be nice to me? I really feel for Joe here. I was in a similar situation when Zara came in and Adam and Zara went on a date. You don't know what's the best thing to do because obviously you're not boyfriend and girlfriend. You just, you don't know whether it's good to leave them alone. It's good to carry on like normal. What do you do? What is the ideal situation? I did at the beginning when I came in with Nayo. He was asking me about chicken nuggets, asking me if I could cook chicken nuggets. I was thinking, what have I got myself involved with? You was loving it on the date. Oh yeah, I kissed him actually. Yeah, I did kiss him actually. Well, I got myself involved with. No, just a pet. <laughs> just to be polite. Just to be polite. Just to be polite. Yeah. Did you kiss Jack because it was polite? <laughs> <laughs> Anna and Sharif, when they first got together, I actually thought this was just going to be a friendship. And then they played the game where they were passionately kissing each other and Anna actually chose Sharif to kiss. And I think Sharif is more into Anna than Anna is Sharif because we've got to remember Anna didn't step forward for him because she said she was waiting to feel something for someone who walked in. And maybe she's still waiting. And a bit like the Dr. Alex and Samira situation, she might just be looking for a friendship to stay coupled up and stay in the villa until her one comes in. The girls that are already in the villa, when the original girls, we call them, they, bond, they immediately bond because they've all come in at the same time. They haven't had to hurt anyone or disrupt anything. And then we come in and that's our job, is to cause a bit of trouble and change the whole dynamic of the villa. And I think that's why they get a lot more of the attention and cause a lot of the trouble, because the boys start going, ooh, something new, something new to play with. So if you either agree or disagree, make sure you leave a comment sharing your opinions here, there. Right there. Just, Just there. No, it's probably down below. No, it's there. Comment Not him. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs>